Hello guys, welcome to another video of the XML uh, and uh, the DOM. And in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to remove um, nodes from um, our DOM.XML. Okay, we've learned until now how to get values and output values, uh, how to change uh, nodes, and now I'm going to show you how to remove nodes. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create in the body section I'm going to create an input uh, type equals button and value equals remove and um, let me see on click this is where I'm going to I'm going to call the function that I'm going to create, and the function is going to be called remove like this. Okay, so now let's create the function, and I'm going to pass a parameter which is going to be uh, node, which will be the node that we want to remove and in here and here I'm going to type um, XML doc equals to uh, load and this is a variable XML doc uh, load XML doc and between the parentheses, we type the name of our XML doc, which is dom.xml. Now in here, we type uh, y equals variable uh, y equals to XML doc dot get elements by tag name and here we can put the node and this is going to refer to the first node um, and here we type XML doc dot document uh, element dot remove child okay and this is a new uh, built-in function in the DOM XML that removes the child of the element uh, that we are um, currently using okay or currently referring to so um, let me go down here and now I'm going to pass the parameter and um, the first uh, node that I want to delete uh, it's going to be the book okay and with this um, with this code we only um, can delete uh, element nodes okay that have uh, or hold uh, childs okay so in this case we will um, we can delete book the book element okay um, later on, I'm going to show you how to delete um, the text element, okay? Whatever uh, element has some text. So for now, I'm going to delete the book. So let's go in here and delete book. And then here I'm going to say alert. And say um, the element plus node and plus here has been removed. Okay, so 
we will make sure that our code run uh, and did all that he has to do with no errors so save this okay so let's try to run this and open Firefox okay so here it is the code here is um, the button and if I click remove the element book has been removed okay now to prove that um, the element book has really been removed I'm gonna create here another input type equals button value equals uh, let me say um, prove it or yeah whatever so on click you can type in the value whatever you want uh, I'm just going to use this button to output um, the whatever um, element we call in the XML okay so then if nothing appears is because has been deleted and been removed so our previous uh, function worked this function here the remove function if something appears is because the code didn't remove anything at all so on click and let's say um, prove and in here I'm going to type book because I want to output the book uh, element and see uh, if something outputs or not okay if something uh, outputs it's because book still exists if it doesn't it's because um, nothing exists okay now down here I'm gonna tap the function proof and here the elements I'm going to pass a parameter now in here what I'm going to say is uh, XML where is it okay XML uh, doc sorry guys uh, X equals XML uh, doc dot get element by tag name in here element and down here I'm going to do the loop I equals zero and now I is uh, less than X dot length and I plus plus and in here document write uh, X <coughs> Y uh, dot child notes zero dot node value and document dot write oops and let's create a line break here okay so that's pretty much it let's save this and I have to close this here okay save it and let's see if the uh, code uh, works okay so let's open the um, let's open this in Firefox okay okay here it is and now uh, remove it 
book has been removed, prove it, and nothing happens. So we must have an error somewhere here. And uh, the error probably is because I declared variable XML doc with the var. And you know, um, when we declare var uh, before a variable name, um, this means that we only can use the variable inside this function and not inside other functions. So, but I'm using, I want to use the variable XML doc in the other function, in this other function, okay? So to do this and to be able to use it, I have to take the var out and only type XML doc, okay? Uh, this is a variable or a global variable that can be used either in this function or another function, okay? And I can declare also y as a global uh, function. And it should work now. Okay, so let's run this again. Okay, here it is. Let's remove. The element book has been removed. Prove it. And there it is. Uh, everyday job. Okay, so uh, I've called all the titles that exist in um uh in our um dom xml okay all the titles are everyday italian and everyday job but we only have we only got everyday job in the output why because we previously deleted all this element or this block okay uh the book and all his childs Okay, guys, so you see it works now. Uh, it's working perfectly. Um, so now uh, another thing I want to show you is how we can delete um, how we can delete a text element. Okay, so for example, uh, if I want to delete author only, okay, or year only, or title only okay I'm gonna show you how to do that so first of all let's remove all this and um, as you can see there are different ways uh, to uh, either delete uh, an element okay that um, has some childs in it and a single uh, text element okay so we've learned how to delete all the book block and all his childs and now I'm going to show you how to delete only a single text um, element okay so it's pretty simple let's go in here okay so XML doc equals um, XML doc and here the dom dot xml now in here uh, let's type x equals to xml doc dot get elements by tag name and in here we type node and this is going to be the first one. So now we type x dot uh, parent node dot remove child. And between the parentheses, we type x. Okay. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. And now down here, instead of X, to not make any confusion with this X, let's change this X to V. So V, V here, and V here, okay? Perfect. So let's save this, 
and let's uh, run this let's run it so uh, oops also let's go down here and let's try to remove uh, author and then I want to output all the authors um, that exist in our XML doc and you'll see that only uh, this will appear okay this one author this one here Jada de Laurentiis 2 okay um, so let's go here where is it here it is let's remove the element book oops okay I need to run this again okay uh, let's remove the element author has been removed and we are referring to the first author of our XML uh, file because you remember between square brackets here we uh, pointed a zero so it means the first one okay the first element um, author so click OK when we click prove it there it is Jada de Laurentiis 2 it means that the work has removed uh, this author here okay and now um, when an out when I try to output the authors all uh, authors uh, in the DOM XML it only outputs the two because this doesn't exist anymore we removed it okay um, there's another uh, there's another uh, way to remove uh, also um, an attribute, okay, uh, an attribute node, which is uh, whatever attribute uh, has, sorry, whatever element uh, has an attribute, we can remove that attribute and, um, uh, sorry, we can remove that element, okay, referring to the attribute that uh, he has okay but um, we'll not uh, go in uh, uh, to, to I'm not going to teach you that okay it's just uh, for uh, for you to know but if you want to learn how to do that you can go to uh, w3 schools okay you have there um, how to to do that and um, now that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much how we can remove elements or uh, childs from um, from uh, the, the XML. Okay. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to replace nodes. Okay. See you guys in the next video. Bye.